Good day fellas, I hope you are ready for your daily dose of skill and today we are going to play with uh, Panther 8.8 .8. Kind of forgotten medium tank if I would say And funny fact boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, if you would pay attention over there you would notice Panther 8.8 .8 is one of the least favorite and least popular um, medium tanks. I filtered this by the medium tank premiums and it's pretty much in the bottom of the list if I can say so. Right? So looks like people do not appreciate this tank that much. Uh, and I cannot blame them. You know, Panther 88 is kind of a weird nut to crack. It has average gun. It has great DPM, it has very bad platform, and by saying very bad, I mean you are tall as an Eiffel Tower, and your armor is um, not the greatest one, so this is a bit of the problem, but don't get me wrong, this vehicle can work, and you can be very successful with this tank. I had a warming up round, I managed to do 3000 damage, so hopefully um, our session is going to go well. So let's see what Panther 88 can give us. Now, speaking about this map, it is far away from being ideal, right? I believe there is plenty of people who definitely dislike this map and they do not know what to do in this map and I can uh, relate to that and I understand playing this battle can be a bit of the hustle. Now, speaking about the situation, I am trying to spot enemies playing around this area. As you can see, I am very, very well aware of that I am getting spotted, but I do not really mind that much, to be fair with you. I am still chilling and I am feeling pretty great. Now, what I would love to see, I would love to see someone playing around this area so we could spank them like there is no tomorrow. This is what I am looking for, and look at this beauty. Type 50 die manager to outspot us. Okay, okay, big boy, thank you. By the way, you know what is the funny thing? Remember when I said this tank is uh, as tall as a barn, um, everything is bad, arm, there is no armor, uh, Type 59 just bounced our side, like literally flat side of our tank. Okay, not bad whatsoever. Uh, still, question remains the same. How to get involved in this kind of situation? And I think I know how. If you would pay attention here, you would notice there is a tier 7 who is getting, uh, uh, who is taking one for the team from this tier 9, right? So what I want to do, I want to get involved against this tier 9. Skill, are you sure? Yes, I am sure. I'm going to destroy his game plan. I'm not even joking. I am going to be that savior of the day and that annoying mother trucker who will come to the rescue, who, who will sacrifice a bit of his hit points and we are going to spank the tier 9. Wasn't that glorious boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen? I am, I am feeling the Caro P88 will write books about our performance. Honestly, that wasn't a bad play. I was feeling like I'm sitting in the shithole there, so uh, to become a bit more aggressive, that was fine. Now, I don't really think I can take the middle because I'm going to get farmed by the gentleman whoever is playing here, so I do not really think it is a great idea to be aggressive. Overall, so, yeah, this is the question how we can get involved and how we can be smart. What I could do is I could try to play smart mother tracker. Skill, could you please uh, talk with me? How? Well, answer is simple. I'm going to cross here through the middle without getting spotted, and I will pick one tank. I will try to farm, okay? That's all I need to do. I will pick the tank, and I will try to shoot him non-stop. Hopefully, the things will work well, and hopefully, we can punish them. As you can see, we found this tier 9 tank destroyer. We are going for another shot. Good. Tiger is still not paying attention, so that is very, very nice. We are hitting Tiger and we are running away. Skill, you pussy. Shh. Eh. I need to do what I need to do uh, uh, to make it work, okay? This might look like it is a pussy gameplay, and you know what it is, but it doesn't change the fact I am feeling happy, and um, for some weird reason it worked just fine. Now for Mr. Tiger, we are going to load gold. Now... With a gold versus tiger, honestly, we can easily win against him, okay? All we need to do, we need to 
show who is the champion over there, okay? That's what I am doing and that's what I'm trying to do. Now I'm paying attention into the max map and as you can see, CC is sitting in the back. What that basically means for us, that basically means run. I'm not joking, I'm not pretending, I am running like there is no tomorrow and I don't want to fight against this guy. I truly don't want to. So, we are still alright, luckily we found the Tiger 2 tourist, he's shooting high explosives. And you know what, the Caro, Caro is going in front, the same Caro we saved before. Fellas, the same Caro we saved before he's saving us in this situation. Oh my bananas, you know. It is like Buberang, fellas. We came back. Buberang came back to us. Okay, this is not exactly what I want, but that's what we have. All right, good. Luckily for us, he did not realize that he was shooting high explosives. I, I have only one way how I can describe this. He definitely did not realize that, but you know what? It is his problem. Now, as you can see, this tank can actually work. Still, you have 3.2 thousand damage, I know. Uh, I did warming up with this tank as well, and I felt like that DPM, we can definitely get some use of this. The biggest problem of this tank is the platform, okay? That is the biggest thing, that is the biggest factor, and yeah, whenever your platform is not that great, let's get real, you are not the most powerful mother trucker on the field, and then you need to be extra careful what you are doing, um, you are not the fastest, you are not the strongest, but you have a punch, fellas. You have a punch with this tank. Do I recommend to buy it? Uh, just don't, fellas. Just don't, you know? This video is kind of created for to save people from buying themselves Panther 88. And for people who haven't played with a Panther 88 in a while, to think maybe you could dead dust it. Maybe you could take your E50 crew and maybe you could have a bit of fun, you know? That is the whole point of us playing with this. Okay, scoreboard, let's go. Okay, 3.2 thousand damage. We are second by experience, we are second by the damage after Mr. Maushan who banged everyone in his way, GG for him. And we made 117,000 credits. Not bad for Panther 88, hmm? don't you think so? Okay, first, good game. I am happy about this, let's go for seconds. Okay guys, what do we have? We have Fjords and we have a standard battle. No, let's see what Fjords will bring for us. So the whole idea and the whole goal is relatively simple in this situation. I do not want to go to the Echo 4, Echo 5. I simply won't be able to escape in time. This is what I am afraid of, right? So instead of doing that, I want to stay kind of in the back. I know my tank doesn't have the finest camo. I know it doesn't have the finest gun, but what we have, we have DPM and we have our shapes which we can uh, put to the use, right? This is what we are doing and this is what we are thinking. Now, we can clearly see the T92 being, uh, being greedy and I hope it will keep this way. Now, if this gentleman will just simply keep up his greediness, right, he's going to go to the garage. And this is exactly what happened. At the moment, by the way, why I did not shot earlier, at the moment I was paying attention at the Kapazander sitting in the back. That's what I have done. I could have gotten full damage shot instead of uh, finishing him off, but to be fair with you, doesn't really matter. Kill is a kill, and you need to be happy for eliminating the light tank from the game. That's about it. Oi, the crossfire, fellas. Oi, the crossfire. Okay, I'm not thinking yet about retreating from here for obvious reasons. I'm not even thinking about that yet. But eventually I will need to. Now, speaking about this game, this situation is very simple. It is a losing spawn. Fellas, and just to say that out loud and to say that straight, losing spawn is not good, okay? As you can see, with my tank, I am tall as a building. I am getting outspotted by the guy sitting here without bigger problems whatsoever, and we do not really have anyone who could actually support us here, or I suppose to say who would be able to spot for us. This is a bit of the problem, but let it be, I'm accepting this. Now we are spanking the Panther too, and soon we will try to escape before it's too late, obviously. 
I'm afraid we are reaching the level when it is kind of too late. Okay, hear me out. We kind of need to run. Now, what is the position I am thinking about and what is position which I want to play? I would say there is only one way how we can do this and how we can be successful in this kind of situation. We need to run like there is no tomorrow, like proper run. And even though with a proper run, it is going to be very, very, very hard to escape. Now, what is the position I am thinking about? This is the position over there. Now the question is, can we reach this position in time without getting slaughtered? It is must take position. Okay, we have Leo Pata who is going here. This position is for one person. And unfortunately, I'm not the chosen one, okay? That is fine. We are all right. We are going to sit somewhere here in the back and we will wait until they will make a bit of pressure. That's what we are going to do at this point. And as you can see, Leo Pata is dreaming about farming. Well, he doesn't dream, to be fair with you. He is farming at this point. Good, beautiful shot to the Mr. Progetto. Very, very nice. And now, fellas, even though the things are not going that well for us, let's get real. Um, the things are very complicated. We are playing in the losing spawn. We are taking one for the team from the enemies. Every, everything is looking so bad. Enemies are making pressure through the middle. They are dominating this battle while there is like there is no tomorrow and so on. And you know what? We are not giving up. We are trying to fight till the last moment of this game. That's what we are trying to do, fellas. And this is what we are doing. And we are doing that successfully. Unfortunately, the same from my side. That is all right. Accept it. And let's see. Can we spank him? Beautiful, we can. Too bad I lost a bit of the hit points when I really did not want it to. Okay, how about shot to the side? Oh, beautiful fire. Very, very nice. How about finishing blow? I think he might burn to death. At least that's what I am hoping for. Beautiful. Hold the line! Look. Everything was against us in this kind of situation, like literally everything. Enemy team obviously is stronger. Um, our tank is definitely not the finest to play somewhere from the back to snipe and to try to uh, spot, right? So um, we lost a lot of hit points over there, which wasn't the wisest choice and the best choice by us, but it happens. Anyways, what I'm trying to say, enemies had winning spawn, they're winning this game. We are not giving up, we are fighting till the last moment and we crafted pretty much 3,000 or 2.8,000. Not horrible and this is um, the score I am happy about. Let's Let's check out the score. Okay, all and all, 2.8,000 looking into all of this, fellas. Considering how the situation is looking like, considering everything is bad and everything is horrible, we still manage to finish on top by experience and top by the damage. Now, Playing with a Panther 88 can be very, very challenging and it is, uh, it can be, let's say, complicated the least. And in fact, it is. It is just not the most flexible um, tank overall and it's not the best vehicle. And I understand why it is not uh, that popular of the tank and this is why I am recommending not to get this vehicle for yourself. Anyways, third round, let's hope for the best. Let's go. Okay, for a third game we have Panther 88 in the Red Shire. Um, quite sad story. For us, uh, the main reason why, because sp spawns got changed lately, right? Spawns got changed from being close to take the corners to being too far away to take the corners. This is the saddest part of all this. But obviously we are not going to give up and we are not going to complain. We will take our balls in the hand and we will try to fight for our happiness and for our score, right? Now, this map, I would say, is definitely balanced more towards the defending team, you know? It's just simply a bit harder to take uh, them down than it was before. Because before you took the corners, you are a champion of the day. Nowadays, you cannot take corners that easily, so it is adding extra layer of complication to deal with everything. But that is okay. Now... What we are going to do, we will try to punish tourists going through the middle. That is the most important thing at this point. Double 312. Not bad. I like it. I really like it. Good. Very, very good. Oh, yo, assisting damage. Such a, such a beautiful track. 
Such a beautiful track. And he was about to escape, but luckily for us, he did not manage to do so. Beautiful track. Anyways, let's not sleep on our... Uh, Good decision to go for a track or I supposed to say lucky shot because I did not hit where I was aiming to but uh, like I said before the best shot ever Obviously, um, I am being sarcastic. I think I am aim I aim it for a track um, Anyways, what we want to do We want to stay around this area Skill may I ask what you are going to get by staying around this area. Absolutely. Yes. We will get right angles to spank tanks like E3. This is exactly what we are looking for. And now we will start filtering for a better angle to shoot this gentleman. This is what we are doing. Not the easiest play. Not the most simple play. But this is exactly what we want to see. Good. Good. You see... Whenever you are bottom tier with most of the tanks, especially with the tanks uh, um, which are huge targets like Panther 88 or something, um, you just simply need to be way more patient and to uh, think twice before peeking, peeking overall, right? And when you do not have any armor whatsoever, when your gun is not the best gun in the world of tanks, right? You need to be smart. You need to hope and believe enemies will be the ones who are going to make a mistake. And whenever the enemies are making mistake, I mean, let's get real. It is so much easier to play. It is like a free cookie for you in a way. Okay. Mr. Statu, don't you want to peek? No, unfortunately, Statu doesn't want to peek. Okay, how about the 140? Can we hit him in the ass? Yes, sir, we can. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. You know what? Even though we are having a losing spawn here, it doesn't really look like we are going to lose this game. Fortunately for us, enemy team is a bit special. Aka, they are playing way too aggressively. Oh, my bananas. Okay. Well, this is not the award which I was expecting for honor, to be fair with you. Um, if I would knew Jack Pizda is sitting in this position, I would never peek against the Mr. Jack Pizda. But, you know, mistakes were made. Not much what we can change about this at this point. Good. Fine. We are all right. Even though Mr. Jack Pizda has a shot at this point, at this point we are waiting. We are just waiting patiently until he is going to shoot. And whenever he will, oh boys, oh boys, this is going to be glorious. Hey, mate, how are you doing? You just fired unlucky. So listen, you see there is a story about Jack Pizda. Jack Pizda is a dangerous tank until Jack Pizda has something in the magazine. Whenever, well, magazine, in the drum, I suppose to say, or, or barrel, or whatever loading mechanism is called, right? Whenever Jack Pizda is shooting, that's it. It is like a meatball. Everyone is afraid to pick Jack, Jack Pizda until he has a shot. Whenever he doesn't, everyone is mine, 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 mine. It's just how it goes, right? Now, looking into this game, so far everything is looking alright, fellas. I am feeling extremely happy how everything works out for us. And we are just trying to spank them like there is no tomorrow, right? Speaking about the situation. Good, look at this. Considering map and considering matchmaking, we are booming in this round, okay? Uh, would I say we would have a same situation if uh, enemy team would be a bit better and they would, let's say, know more things what they are doing or uh, they would try to play a game a bit better or something? No, the situation wouldn't be the same. And that is nice. That is 5,000 combined overall, 3,000 raw damage and 2,000 assisting slash tracking damage. Very, very, very good game and I'm super happy about this. But now, hear me out, fellas. Whenever I am playing World of Tanks nowadays, not every game is as good as this one. Some games are finishing when enemies are capping the base in the first minutes of the game. And I do not include games like literally 
maximum fails out there. I don't really think this is that entertaining if you know what I mean. So looking into all of this, 3,000 damage, 2.2 thousand assisting damage. We crafted three lovely games, right? I am feeling very, very happy with all of this. Um, 78,000 profits as well. Very, very nice. We made the Panther 88 work, but now hear me out. I needed five games in order to craft this, right? Um, and performance from the games you have seen is way better than performance which I had. And now I can explain you why am I doing situation like this and why am I not showing every single game. Take take a look at this. Game was four minutes and our team captured the base, right? Because we had a gentleman who went there. It is not really that entertaining. And you know, whenever you have a potential to do way more and the games are finishing while capping the base, you know, I, I don't really think I even need to, to show score or situation like this. So I hope in this way, you will always know the performance is good, you know, because with Panther 88, come on, 3000 uh, 3, average damage, which we managed to craft over three games, it is not bad whatsoever, right? So I just want to be honest with you and say that straight in the face, right? All in all, Panther 88 is not a horrible vehicle. I don't really think it is disgusting tank and I don't think uh, um, it is unplayable tank. But in the same time, it is not to that level like I would say for a person, hey, you're playing World of Tanks? Nice. Do you have Panther 88? Because that tank is a beast. It costs 20 euros or 30 euros? It's definitely worth it. I would never ever say so, you know? So, uh, I just want to say that out loud and if you are old school player, if you still have this vehicle for yourself, maybe you can go for a run with it and just enjoy yourself. Also one more thing which I really want to show from one of the game is a blooper special for you fellas. Um, you need to see that yourself and for now thank you very much for watching and blooper it is. Dead excellent. Okay let's go for double penetrator. Skill, do you know it's not worth it? What do you mean it's not worth it? What do you mean it's... Oh, boy. Oh, my ba... Oh, my bananas. Oh, you are such a hero of the day. Oh, you show the class, my man. You show the class.